call you later. Sit down, Miss Stanford. This is the fifth time that you've been late to work. This company cannot take a slacker that is not a team worker. I know that you are sick and tired of hearing my excuses, but the baby said it was late and I could not leave the baby alone. I understand your problems and I really empathize with you, but I can't run a business like this. Then can't afford to go down with you. I need this job. Miss Stanford, I'm sorry, but I have to let you go. Please don't do this. Miss Stanford, look at the position you've placed me in. What would you do if you were in my shoes? I understand. And I want to apologize for any inconvenience that I caused you. Believe it or not, I have this company's best interest at heart. I'm sorry too, Miss Stanford. I wish there was something I could do. No, no, no. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And by the way, as for those women's shelters you asked me to research, I know you only asked me to get a list of them, but I also went to the shelters, found you a contact person, and um, there's a brief summary included. I hope that's enough for you. Gotta mail these invitations. Susan, pull yourself together. Go ahead and open it. It's her baby shower invitation. And she decided to invite you. How sweet. Pam, hey, I thought we were finished with this. So are you going? No, no, I'm not gonna go. If it's finished, then why aren't you going? Because it's not worth going through this with you. Go, Todd. Excuse me? You heard me, just go. No, no, I can't go. I have to work. Don't make up excuses on my account. Damn it, why are you acting like this? We both know that it's bothering you. Look, we tried really hard to make our marriage work, but we never addressed the problem. And just what is the problem? Her. The last time you saw her, you couldn't look at me for two days. Your eyes light up when she's around. I know you still think about her. I guess I was just waiting for you to do the same thing for me. It's just something that I pray for. I mean, come on now, you married me for a reason. And I'm glad, because I love you. But I'll never have a place in your heart until you learn how to say goodbye. Can you do that? Can you say goodbye and come home to me? I need to know. You know what? That while I don't compare to the great love of your past, that you're at home when you're with me. You're home for me, baby. your love for me is true. When you can look at her and love me at the same moment, then our marriage won't be alive. Just go. Yeah, yeah. I said I'll be there. I'll just be running a little late. Oh, okay. I have a dinner meeting. A very important client to the firm, yes. Why are you trying to make me feel bad? I said I'll be there. Family, remember? No, okay, well, yeah. Come in. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This, 
Sell the car now. I'll call you back. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I just came to tell you that Mr. Carter canceled his meeting for tonight. Shit. Did he say why? His wife needed him to come home and watch the kids. And he did? Shocking. Hell yeah, talking about Mike. <laughs> I don't know where she found him and what she's doing, but she's doing something right. Yeah, yeah well, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, um, Emerald. Yes? Um, why don't you and I keep those reservations for the night? I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In this office, we use first names, okay? Some offices consider sexual harassment. Oh, is that why you've been avoiding me? Hey, if you want me to back off, let me know. But uh, for some reason, I don't think you want me to do that. You sure you want this? Does it look like I don't know what I want? Okay, I'll go. But only to discuss some of the ideas I have for my job here. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Why are you looking at me?